Yo, what's up? We are now at Circle K Dahl as usual and behind me here you have the BMW iX3. So today we're going to do range test and charging test a bit, but this video you will see only the range test part. So I've been charging now to 100%. I think I'm almost done. It goes so fast. I was receiving 45 kilowatts at 90%. We're almost done. Yeah, it does the final stuff now. See, 20 minutes. So quick look. What is important is that what the heck is yeah this one has been covered the grill wait huh is there something i can fist the kidney grill what the heck <laughs> okay but anyway we have bridgestone alensa 245 45 20 in the front and uh, we have 275 40 20 in the back so we, this one also comes in 19 inch variant with the 245 front and back. So this is slightly uh, less efficient uh, variant, but I think it shouldn't matter too much. So uh, we're going to do final preparations. It's nice and hot today, well, nice and warm. And we will actually start with an 120 test first because it's around midday right now. Well, we are on the move now. And um, as usual, the first thing we'll do is check the weight of the car. So far, uh, <laughs> well, the consumption is 265 watt uh, per kilometer, but uh, we have some kinetic energy initially, but we'll see. So yeah, hopefully the scale is available now. A nice weather, 14 degrees Celsius. Oh yeah, that is, uh, that is Norwegian summer, yeah. Okay, let's check front axle. One thousand kilo. All right. The whole car. Oh, two thousand three hundred kilo. Quite back heavy. Ah, two thousand three hundred kilos. All right. All is good. Okay, let's check the windsock. Oh, we have south. Oh yeah, yeah. We have wind from the south today. We have tailwind. That's why the consumption, I mean, that's why it's so nice and warm. Yeah. All right. Let's check Mjösen. Oh, Mjösen is quite calm today. Oh, yeah. Nice. We are now at the turnaround point. This is Rutshögta. And it's supposed to be 91 kilometers here. Let me check strip. Oh, it's 90.4. This car is under-reporting distance by a little bit. Uh, point around 0.5 kilometer. That's that's ah, that's half a percent. Usually, if I get half percent error, I will not care too much about it. Okay, whatever. Let's uh, go back. We are now back at the starting point. So according to well Google, and this is a known distance that I always use. It's supposed to be 183, uh, 182 kilometers. Let's see now. Uh, about to the roundabout. Oh, it's reporting 180.8 right now. So it's going to be around 181. So it is one kilometer under reported, which is um, about 0.5%. So I would probably not bother because yeah, you, you might get one watt hour per kilometer lower consumption, but that's almost irrelevant. Ah, look at this broken down vehicle, narrow lanes. In 2.1 kilometers, there's a broken down village. I, I, vehicle. I know that because I've driven past it. <laughs> all right, all right, here you go. Unfall, unfall, das auto is kaput. We are back at Ayunti now. So yeah, pretty good results. I will look closer at it and by the end of the video, but I have a little complaint about this car already. You see here, auxiliary climate, they still call it auxiliary, but you can't start pre uh, preheating or pre-cooling the car now. And it says that this, this function is not available because charge is too low. Well, buddy, we are at Ionity here. You know, DC ultra schnell laden. We are getting 150 kilowatt. Can't you just spare one kilowatt for air conditioning? It's getting pretty hot in here now. So this is, I thought they would have fixed this. This was the problem also with the i3, which has a small battery, understandable. But in the iX3, still haven't fixed it. Nine, 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 nine. 
Oh, but look at that. Um, this is better. This is better. Okay, okay. I take it back. Once we hit 10%, then it is possible to start it now. So that's that's good. Yeah. <laughs> but initially, yeah. Okay, it's actually not too big of a deal because with the iX3, as long as you are on a high power charger, it doesn't take that long before you reach 10%. Or many times when you arrive, you will have more than 10%. So okay, not that big of a deal. But yeah, yeah. So okay, alles gut, yeah. Oh yeah, my favorite food from Circle K, which is the big Mexican taco salad. I mean, probably not much here that resembles a Mexican food, but at least that's what they call it. Mmm, mmm, look at that. Lots of green stuff. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Man, so nice. It's almost spring. When spring is here, it's almost summer. So now I'm going to enjoy, what is this again? Royal, yeah. Circle K, they have all the royal ice cream half price. So this video was not sponsored by Circle K. Hmm. Huh? This reminds me of Varbike. Hmm. I remember Varbike. I don't think why, but it was 25 degrees Celsius. That is close enough. I think it's about 18, 19 here on the tarmac. Oh, let me see how close are we now. 98%. I better hurry. We are on the move now. So this one, since it's uh, fully charged, we have header display here. Yeah, nice. It shows actually quite a lot of information. Not only the speed, you can actually change, when you change songs or whatever, you can also get stuff, like radio channels or whatever. And then we have pretty big instrument cluster, you see? The instrument cluster is almost as big as the infotainment screen here. And it's also controlled by uh, the iDrive or it's a touchscreen. But look at that consumption. 149 watt hour per kilometer, let's say 150. 150 watt hour per kilometer. <laughs> I only go home. This car for this size is super efficient. We are looking at the numbers in Model X Raven. It's slightly more efficient, but this compared to the other German cars, the iX3 here is way more efficient. But of course, it's a rear wheel drive. You have to keep that in mind. We have been driving for uh, oof, almost three hours now. And so far we can see here, uh, well, this is a bit uh, weird that uh, here we see uh, distance and, well, actually we see distance there. Hmm. But we also see it here. Yeah, we don't have to look there. We can see here that the, the, the distance driven is 233 and that the consumption is 161. And we have about half battery right now. And the outside temperature is 13. It was warmer earlier. We had uh, 18 something at the highest one. So we are only halfway now. <laughs> but one thing I noticed, ever since I sat my big fat butt in here um, a couple of days ago, is that the Beamer is quiet. Not as quiet as uh, e-tron, but you see, over here we have pretty rough tarmac, and I feel like this is nice and quiet, right? Oh man, I've been driving for many hours. I don't remember, three hours or something, and I just need to take a little break and pee, mainly to pee, so we wanted to see how long can the human, is man versus machine, which one had to stop first? I had to bail out first. The machine could go another hour and a half before it's out. But then I have to show you guys, over here, this is Strandlisha, we have a resting area here, and also on that side somewhere, we have another resting area, I don't remember, but this is nice. And we also have this cool toilet here, public toilet. I have to show you guys inside. <laughs> Look at this view. Man, sometimes you need to stop and enjoy the view. Okay, here's the toilet. Voila. So um, this is one of the few toilets where you have awesome view over Mjösa. So you can just take a shit from here and enjoy the view. <laughs> Okay, let's see what happens if you don't touch the thing wheel. No, no, we are going to do it. How will it feel? I will do this in uh, one shot only. This start blinking.
Okay. Red. Red. Red alert. Oh, brake hard. Brake hard twice. Brake hard twi three, three times. Four times. Slowing down. Still. Oh. Still braking. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> all right. That was good. Try to wake me up. All right. All right. All is good. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see now. I'm using the adaptive headlights from BMW, but this is not uh, the full matrix style. It's just. Uh, some kind of moving stuff going on uh, I have a car in front so it blacks out that one and then oncoming cars uh, I don't feel like it's doing too much okay let's see after the truck passes what happens then it should light up the left side oh uh, it's not there 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 out oh, there oh wow that was super slow and then it oh, I think it's being confused by these lights here Ah, we have these lights in the middle, and then, oh, oh then the truck comes, okay. Uh, don't blind the truck. Okay, after the truck has passed, now you can turn it on. Left side, on. Now. Oh, yeah, how about now? Ah, uh, it's being confused by the lights. Uh, all right, all right. All right, we're back now at the starting point, uh, juicing up, and... Um, yeah, so you see, you can see the screenshots here. Uh, this, the first one here is a 90 kilometers per hour test. And uh, I also checked that we arrived with 3%. You have to check it on the Ionity screen. And also for the 120 test, we also arrived with 3% there. It's just a coincidence, really. Uh, but actually at the 120 test, we had the turtle mode once we <laughs> arrived. But okay, anyway, so you see the ta table now that um, we have uh, on the 90 test, we have 442 kilometers. That's good, man. That is neck on neck with ID4. This car will be kind of competing with against ID4 and also, but the ID4 is slightly cheaper, but I think this will compete against uh, e-tron Q4. Oh, yeah, it's, it's called Q4 e-tron, which will have similar quality on the interior and similar price also, kind of. Yeah, actually the Q4, yeah. So, I think people who consider this car, uh, the iX3, they will also consider ID4 or the MEB platform cars equivalent, like ENIAC, but they will also consider it against e-tron. So, range-wise, it's, you know, this is kind of crazy because it's a rear-wheel drive, so it will actually beat the e-tron 55, and it will, of course, beat the e-tron 50. But, uh, really good. My impression is that this rear-wheel drive is very efficient compared to the other similar sized car so and also yeah you guys saw that i also double checked that um, the capacity is 74 around 74 kilowatt hour which also corresponds with the spec uh, why i was getting 74.7 on the first run probably has something to do with that um, on the first run it was done in in the daytime and it was nice and hot outside I think it was 19 degrees, 18 degrees at the highest point. And then at, because we were driving fast, then we actually get more energy out of the battery. Whereas the second run, it was getting a little bit cold towards the end and in the evening. Uh, so that's why. But um, what I also wanted to check is that um, when doing the high speed run and the consumption is higher, there seems to be almost no loss or very little loss in heat that means that this battery seems to have very low internal resistance which is good some other cars i test like the honda e had six five or six percent loss which is not very good <laughs> but uh, yeah so very very impressive so far of this car um so i'm not sure what else to say so there you go i think that's going to be it for now hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later